Welcome to Seniorities, a senior center program to try to inform or hope to inform the community of um, activities and interests to seniors and the general community. So thank you, JD, as always, for being here with me. Um, nice JD to be Miller. Here, as always. And then in addition, we have Marie Murray, volunteer for the food pantry, which is what we want to talk about today with you, just to give um, more information and update everybody as far as um, changes, improvements, and operations for this resource, which is so valuable to the community. Welcome, Marie. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, My pleasure. Knowing that we both, you know, the Senior Center and the Food Pantry, are both interested in increasing awareness of community resources in general. Um, we thought this was an opportune time for you to be here, and especially for this resource that does benefit so many. So um, giving you that opportunity uh, to talk, can you tell us a little bit about new practices and you know, recent efforts, I understand, to sort of up the game for the food, food pantry and offer more? Sure. Uh, before we start Take with it away, Marie. thank you, JD. <laughs> before we start with the specifics about the food pantry, if I could just talk for a few minutes about food insecurity, mm -hmm. and the this is a term that you're going to hear and you're going to read about much more mm -hmm. uh, recently uh, and in the future. Uh, and what it is is defined. U.S. Department of Agriculture defines food insecurity as being a condition in which families are unable mm -hmm. to put. Uh, enough food into their home and enough meals on their table mm -hmm. to sustain their normal way mm -hmm. of life mm -hmm. for various reasons, some of which are financial, others uh, are sometimes transportation, mm -hmm. sometimes uh, illness, mm -hmm. um, and other reasons um, also. So the statistics that are somewhat shocking mm -hmm. is that nationally, uh, and by region, because every region is different in the percentage of people that are food insecure. In the Northeast, uh, which is where our situate is, uh, it is felt to be an 8% mm -hmm. of people uh, in our town are food insecure. Mm -hmm. And that translates to 1,500 people. Mm -hmm. So although we at the food pantry are servicing about 550 people right now, okay. We have a long That's way even to go. More than I thought too, but yeah. Yes, before we address fifteen hundred people. But your net differential there is almost a thousand people. Right, exactly. Hmm. So we've got a lot of work to do, mm -hmm. uh, and um, I'll let you know some of the ways that we're doing that. Great. great. So the history of it, just quickly. Let's. Start, where, where are you located? We're located uh, right now. We are located at the Masonic Temple, which okay. is at 344 Country Way. Mm -hmm. We're on the lower level in the rear of the mm -hmm. building, mm -hmm. and we have use of that whole floor. We have about 3,000 square feet of uh, space that we're utilizing right now. The which Masons, is constant use, permanent use. In other words, it's you don't Monday. Share that. No, no. Mm -hmm. It's Mondays, mm -hmm. Tuesdays, and Thursdays for the food pantry, mm -hmm. uh, and the Masons have use of the hall all the rest of the time right. in the evenings they have programs and stuff right. there yeah but um, that's usually but upstairs that's where we yes yeah. yes mm -hmm. yeah so we are fortunate uh mm -hmm. that we have this space we take donations there in addition to that we have do donation uh receptacles all around town we have mm -hmm. about 13 of them all around town including ones at the seven churches who mm -hmm. support us sure. um, out in the rear of our building, mm -hmm. some of the markets in town uh, and so forth all have big mm -hmm. receptacles for people and, to bring their donations. And how does that food then get into to the you? food pantry? So then our volunteers mm -hmm. have different uh, locations that mm -hmm. they pick up and bring to the pantry. Uh, our new plan is to have <coughs> most of the donations brought to the pantry on Mondays. And the reason for mm -hmm. that is that our community service mm -hmm. program that we have now um, mm -hmm. expanded uh, for the high school kids, uh, and now this year we're even expanding it for the eighth grade, mm -hmm. um, is present in the pantry from three to five on Monday afternoons. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of, of processing of the food and dating and sorting and all of that that mm -hmm. the kids are able to do. What? It's a tremendous help. We then have a so, yeah, so let's just stop there for one sure. second. So you're unloading food on Mondays from various locations. Yes. And you could use volunteers. Yes. Hands. Yes. To be able to do this. Yes. So we want to let the, the, the school community know that 
if kids need community service hours. Exactly. Um, and they can just help unload, stock shelves, yeah, right? That's exactly uh, over right. Over the food pantry on, right. on Mondays. Mondays. Okay. Right. <clears throat> We've expanded it this year, as I said, to the eighth grade um, because the program was tremendously successful mm. last year. The kids yeah. had a great time. It was also a nice social uh, time for them. They got to know each other. Mm -hmm. um, and so we feel and the eighth graders will work in. Everyone needs community service in. hours. Right. Everyone needs community service right. hours. They so there's now. some that you can log right. in, right? Yep. yep. So we're happy to have those, yeah, and we yes. look forward to having many kids this year. Yeah. We're starting our program this coming Monday. Mm -hmm. um, so it goes from October till the end of May when the kids start getting out mm -hmm. of school. And then I we did stop see it for a Facebook summer. post about that, I believe. Yes. So that's really yes. open to the general public and yes. students. Yes. Nice. Yes. Nice. Yes. So uh, the history of mm -hmm. the pantry, a yep. little bit, started in 1992 as an emergency food mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. distributor for a flood, a fire, whatever. I see. And developed into mm -hmm. the former food pantry system, which was similar to most food pantries in the area and across the country, I believe, where it was just canned goods, dry goods mm -hmm. that were given out um, to the clients. Starting this year, in 2018, we completely changed our okay. service model. Okay. And that's mm -hmm. what I'd like to talk to you a little bit about today. Wonderful. So the clients now, uh, were you, oh, prior to 2018, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, that was cumbersome. <laughs> Prior to 2018, mm -hmm. our clients were allowed to come to the pantry one time per month. I see. And uh, hmm. starting in March mm -hmm. of 2018, our goal for this year was to have them come twice a month, mm -hmm. which is doesn't sound like much, but for mm -hmm. us it was a 100% mm -hmm. increase mm -hmm. in uh, distribution of food. Uh, and our goal for 2019 mm -hmm. is to trial. Mm -hmm and see if we can't come to a weekly wow, distribution okay. for mm -hmm. food. Mm -hmm. So a lot of that mm -hmm. will, will depend on whether or not uh, we can keep the donations. Is it inventory, yeah. I guess, was yes. going to be my question. Yes, yeah. exactly. Right. So mm -hmm. one of the things we've done to address that mm -hmm. at the food pantry is that the figure uh, nationwide is that our food resources, 40% um, of our food resources mm -hmm. across the country are discarded for date sure. or not being able to be used. Right. So we Expiration decided, at, yes, right. we decided at the food pantry, and there's a lot of confusion around dates. There's best buy, there's mm -hmm. sell by, there's right. a lot of different dates. Sometimes you can't find the date. Right, right. right. So we right. did a lot of research this year to try and make a dent. Our goal was to make a dent in that 40%. Yep. And um, we use the U U.S. Department of Agriculture, their research that they have, as well as the Greater Boston Food Bank mm -hmm. and the research that they have done mm -hmm. to develop a new system for dating. And mm -hmm. th that system is mm -hmm. that for certain products, we can extend that date on the product by six months. Well. And for other products, we can extend the date by one year. Some of the research that the two groups I just mentioned mm -hmm. have uh, stated is can go up to, depending on the item, five years mm -hmm. uh, out from the date. Mm -hmm. Now, slowly over the course of time, the quality mm -hmm. or the wholesomeness, mm -hmm. if you will, might flavor might degrade, might degrade a little bit. Right. But we decided to take a conservative approach but on that. But it might still yes. be fine. Yes, there's nothing right. wrong with right. the food. Right. It is not dangerous right. to eat mm -hmm. right. and whatever. So we mm -hmm. decided to go to take, because this was a big change mm -hmm. in our organization and for our clients, mm -hmm. we decided to take a conservative approach when we first started this. Mm -hmm. And it's been, mm -hmm. it's gone well. Um, we um, thought that there would be some uh, concern, and there was, we hung up uh, on our bulletin board that's for our clients a lot of the information that we had gotten in our research and we also tried to meet one-on-one -on -one with mm -hmm. people to try to get them to understand the reason that we were doing it mm -hmm. and also that this food was very mm -hmm. safe mm -hmm. for them mm -hmm. to eat mm -hmm. so that's the tack that we mm -hmm. have taken with that we hope to see um, a major dent in that at the end of the year we'll be reassessing yeah. Yeah. and um, it I mean that'd be great Instead yeah. of throwing away food. Right, exactly. Exactly. Be able to use it. Yes. 
So we're trying to give out more food, not mm -hmm. less. We are trying to not stock our shelves uh, and hold food, right. store food. We are right. trying to have the food come in mm -hmm. to the pantry and, and leave the right. pantry mm -hmm. with our clients. Right. And that's mm -hmm. a big goal for us. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a big change in the organization, mm -hmm. uh, but it's something that so mm -hmm. far we've been very successful at. So, and another. I mean, if sorry. you're able to get to every week, it's going to go. Yes. Yes. Like there's a big change from once a month to once a week. Yes. But they're open two days. Two. Yes, two days, days every week. Yes, Tuesday and Thursdays we have mm -hmm. sessions for clients every week. Now I think in the past you had an evening, and now and now it's just daytime. It's um, from three to five. We consider our evening mm -hmm. shift. Um, that may increase in the future. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. So far, there hasn't been a request too much to have it be later in the evening. Mm -hmm. uh, it's sometimes difficult for the volunteers to, to um, I mean, you know, cover those up, hours. The sun's starting to go down, et cetera, yeah. et cetera, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We're hoping to capture the people that are working or mm -hmm. the people that can't get yeah. there because of daycare or whatever yeah, sure. in the early morning. Mm -hmm. uh, the morning session starts for them mm -hmm. on Tuesdays at 10 in the morning mm -hmm. and goes till 12, 15. Mm -hmm. So the people that can't make that, we're hoping to catch on Thursday mm -hmm. afternoons. And mm -hmm. it's not as big as the Tuesday session, but nevertheless, there are enough people there mm -hmm. to make it worthwhile. Mm -hmm. So. so what is the process for people who do want to take advantage of, of the food pantry? So they come into the food pantry, um, preferably on a Tuesday. But they could also do Thursday if that's all they can do. Mm -hmm. And they are um, given an intake volunteer, which is usually our executive director, mm -hmm. Barbara Steiglitz, mm -hmm. or the director for client services, okay. which is Mary Struzero. Mm -hmm and they uh, fill out some forms. This is in a location that's away from mm -hmm. everyone with some privacy mm -hmm. um, provided, and they have to be resident of Situate. The biggest mm -hmm. um, okay. regulation that we have is that they have mm -hmm. to be a, a uh, resident of our town. In order to show that, they can show a driver's mm -hmm. license, of course, they could also show mm -hmm. any kind of a utility bill, mm -hmm. rent bill, mm -hmm. anything like that. So in terms of eligibility, yes. I mean, people can eligibility. Just that is what it is, okay. right? Right. So, and we encourage people to come, even if you mm -hmm. you're not sure mm -hmm. that this is something you need. Sure. We encourage people to come down, mm -hmm. look at what the service yeah. is, yep. what the food is that we have, right. and um, mm -hmm. how it's provided, mm -hmm. uh, and. And hopefully mm -hmm. it's something that, mm -hmm. you know, people need. Is there any time lag between someone giving you that information and being eligible? No. Yeah. So they can come in, yes. walk through that with Barbara or Mary. Yes. And... They can receive food that right. day. Right. Okay. In addition to that, we do provide emergency food service um, for people that find themselves, for whatever reason, mm -hmm. In an emergency situation where they have no food mm -hmm. in the house, mm -hmm. and we provide that service, we have a, a phone number that people can call. The number for the Citra Food Pantry is seven eight one five four five five eight two seven. And certainly, we try to encourage and make people aware of certain state benefits, like the SNAP benefit. Yes. So I believe that is something that. Yeah, so that's a relatively new program mm -hmm. that we have in the mm -hmm. last few months. Uh, we have a SNAP officer who comes mm -hmm. down to us from Wellspring, okay. um, which is in Hull. Mm -hmm. uh, she's stationed there, I think, primarily. Mm -hmm. But they agreed to let us uh, use her services on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and the clients who uh, feel that this is something that they'd like to pursue mm -hmm come in and they again are provided mm -hmm. a private mm -hmm. area mm -hmm. in which to talk with her. So uh, I, it's not something that we mm -hmm. are involved in, mm -hmm. but this woman has a lot of knowledge about mm -hmm. the SNAP program, about mm -hmm. the qualifications mm -hmm. that you have to have to get into it, uh, and the benefits so forth. So I'm hearing probably really could good be things. Something, I guess that we maybe collaborate on because our outreach coordinator yeah, does helps the same, and in fact we are becoming registered to receive actually some some benefit through the number of people that we are able to to register for right. SNAP. Right. So good. as the senior center, as the council on oh, aging, good. that is something we've always that's done, but, but making people comfortable and aware of the services and, and um, that it's really not something that's as restrictive as some may think. Yes. I mean, that, you know, if you feel like you might have the need or might be able to benefit from that, we want to encourage you to talk about it. And, right. And right. 
One thing we've found with this so far is that many of the people who are already receiving mm -hmm. SNAP mm -hmm. uh, are not receiving all of the benefits that they are sure. entitled to. Okay. And that's something that she's been very helpful with mm -hmm. in terms of going over their profile mm -hmm. and so forth and identifying mm -hmm. sources of, um, okay. of help for them. Mm -hmm. So it's so far been yeah. very, very positive. Can reach out to her too. So I know we probably <laughs> interrupted here for a second. Historically founded in 1992. Right. Gr grown since then. Yes. Exponentially, probably, but yes. slowly but or slowly but surely. Yes. Um, Last year we had 47 new families. Okay. Join. Oh. So that's not people. That's 47 families. families. And, and this that, year yeah. we, I believe, and when we researched the, that the other day. Average family of Two and a half or three? Probably, yeah. yes. Yes. We, That's 120 mouths. Yes. To feed. We have 31 families so far mm -hmm. uh, as of September mm -hmm. 1. So we'll probably reach that goal, mm -hmm. um, that mm -hmm. level again mm -hmm. this year, I would think. So, um, yes, it's a lot of people. It's a lot of food. There's a lot of need. Yep. Yes. Interesting. Yes. And then there's the volunteers. So I know Barbara Steglitz has been at the helm for yes. many of those years. Yes. Um, Barbara is our executive director. Mm -hmm. She has oversight for the whole pantry. Mm -hmm. uh, a year ago, we um, formulated a management team mm -hmm. around her, and uh, we each have mm -hmm. our own area mm -hmm. of uh, responsibility okay. and work as a group to nice. manage the operations, the daily operations of the thing, along with Barbara. We also so, tell us how, so yeah, give us that structure. That's okay, so structure. we have a board of directors, first mm -hmm. of all, mm -hmm. who are responsible for uh, oversight. Also, they do things like fundraising, okay. public relations, and all the board of director mm -hmm. type stuff. Uh, and then we have our operations team, which consists of Barbara at the helm mm -hmm. as executive director. Mm -hmm. We then have a director for client services, a director for finance, a director for volunteer services, a direct, two directors for food services, that's mm -hmm. myself, my partner Jack Radley, mm -hmm. and also a, a director for community outreach. Mm -hmm. So we have pretty much all the areas of responsibility that's necessary right, to right, expand right. this um, organization, and that's what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. We're trying to meet the need mm -hmm. um, and um, expand this into something that really be great for the community. There's a lot of buzz to walk in there. There's a lot of things going on at yes, the same time. Yes. Yeah. We're very fortunate uh, in Situate, and we tell everyone this, mm -hmm. that the uh, residents of Situate are extremely generous. Mm -hmm. We are supported by the seven churches in Situate, mm -hmm. uh, not financially, but we are supported so in that with uh, food donations yeah. from their parishioners, mm -hmm. but also um, messages in their bulletins every right. week, right. messages as to what we currently need on our shelves, uh, and things like that. If we need volunteers for the post office drive, there's seven places that mm -hmm. that's seen right, which is, for a month which or two. Which started a couple years ago, and it's been great. Oh, the it's post been wonderful. Drive, right? Post office drive. Usually in April, I'm going to say. It's May. It's Seems Saturday like it's before spring. Mother's Day, okay. uh, and we receive 30 mm. percent of our food supply for mm. the year that day. Yep. Wow. And everybody puts it outside, and the post the post office picks it up when exactly. they drop off your mail. Exactly. And then bring so it it's to a the coordinated effort yeah. with the letter carriers union, mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. agree mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. with their union to pick up all of the food and bring it to the food pantry. That's what they do. And then we have we our volunteer ranks swell to eighty, mm -hmm. about eighty. We try to sign up okay. for that day. Oh well, yeah, because you're getting a lot of food. Yes, and it's morning mm -hmm. till night. It's morning till the last uh, gun is fired mm -hmm. that day mm -hmm. uh, to then mm -hmm. intake the food, date it, sort it, all of that. So, but it is it does represent thirty percent. So. Uh, just a little advertisement here. We send out a little packet. Every town does not do that. Mm -hmm. Every pantry does not do mm -hmm. that. Our little packet, mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure people know, has a postcard about the food drive and about the okay. pantry. This is with the postal. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Oh, yes. It's Everybody the little. It right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's a little clear plastic bag, and yep. in it there's a yellow grocery bag, a bright yellow grocery bag. Uh, mm -hmm. And that is in your mailbox, also put in so by the letter nice, carriers, nice so that yeah. um, we feel that it's worth the effort and the money mm -hmm. that it costs to make the yeah. packet in order to have a bag right there 
for people to see and remind them that, oh, it's this Saturday, right. let's fill this up with food. Right. And it's tremendous, wow. the amount of food that comes in that day and the amount of bags. I think last year we had uh, about 3,000 bags come in that day. Mm. So, uh, as I say, it represents 30% mm. of our food for the year. And then no concern about sort of having that food last I mean, right. shelf life, etc. Right. So it's not... Exactly. It's going to serve you for some time yes. after that. Yes. So uh, it's stored. Mm -hmm. It's dated and, sor and mm -hmm. sorted and stored. Mm -hmm. and the hope is the then that it goes right back out right. the door. But that's a lot as more than as, yes. you normally have. So the distribute. other part of the other percentage of the mm -hmm. food, you might wonder, is mm -hmm. all done uh, through donations, mm -hmm. weekly donations. Um, at the churches, we have volunteers that go around and pick up. Mm -hmm. uh, the bins at mm -hmm. all of the churches, at the markets. We pick up Shaw's and Stop and Shop every Tuesday morning and bring it back to the pantry. There's a tremendous effort there, mm -hmm. very, very supportive at the markets, uh, and give us a lot of food that we're able to, to then um, mm -hmm. give out. Mm -hmm. um, and then people, regular citizens, come in every Tuesday or every off. Thursday and yeah. drop off drop their off bags stuff. of stuff. Bought. So yeah. they are welcome to come in during your operational hours. Yes. It doesn't have to be another time yes. necessarily. No, it doesn't. We do have a bin at the back of the Masonic Temple okay. that has, um, it, they can put their mm -hmm. bins, in, their food in mm -hmm. um, every at other times mm -hmm. when our hours are not, uh, yeah, when we're I not open. Re I want to stop and repeat that. So in terms mm -hmm. of locations in town to mm -hmm. make a physical food donation, any church? Yes. Behind behind your office? on Masonic, Masonic, Masonic Temple. Temple on yep. Country Way. Yes. And then a couple of the markets. Yes. Shaw's? Yes. Stop and Shop. Stop and Shop. Shaw's and Village Market. Village Market, okay. Yes. So anybody who's walking out the door at, mm -hmm. at Village Market with mm -hmm. an extra can of something mm -hmm. yep. can put it in the, the yes. bin right there yes. and it'll get picked up. Exactly. Okay. On our Facebook page, one of the things that Laurel, who is the outreach mm -hmm. uh, director, has done is to put uh, cute Facebook <laughs> posts about, okay, this week yeah. at Shaw's, okay. uh, it's BOGO, uh, it's buy one, get one. So mm -hmm. how about taking the one home oh, and putting right. the second one in our bin mm -hmm. uh, when you're leaving? Planting the seed. Yes. Yeah. That, that yes. Sure yes. Or this yeah. week you can get ten for ten mm -hmm. of rice, or you know Seven. those yeah. kinds of yeah. things. So okay. that has been helpful. Our online presence is new this year. Sure. Um, this year and maybe half of last year. Mm -hmm. um, before that, there wasn't much of one, but just one volunteer. Yeah. Uh, who is very familiar with it and uses it a lot they, and everything, doing, can take the online presence to sure. the level that it is right now, and she has a lot of goals mm -hmm. uh, for changes mm -hmm. for the next year as it's well. It's certainly a value so, added, yes, no doubt. Yes, no doubt. yes, and we're getting a lot of good feedback, so we know people are seeing it, yeah. which is good. So I also yeah. want to come back on donations. We, we just talked yes. about locations. Yes. You're able to accept funding, correct? Yes, so, most definitely. So anybody who can't shop but wants mm -hmm. to hand over... A mm -hmm. personal check for right twenty five dollars right. fifty dollars right. whatever then you can use that money to do what mm -hmm. yes so uh, anybody can drop off a check or mail a check post office box one two zero situate mass um, and um, we will get it that way you can also donate online via PayPal okay and online at Amazon smile okay uh, and that is um, really taking off mm -hmm. in terms of people just it, an easy way for yep. people to just click and yep. their donation is made. Yep. Uh, we also have people drop off and checks you know what? and you can do something like that and key in a, an automatic deduction for ten dollars a month. And all, yes. of a, all of a sudden, yes. after a year, you've given one hundred and twenty dollars yes. to the food bank. Yes, mm -hmm. people also use the gift cards for the markets, yep. okay. and they buy the gift okay. cards for twenty-five or Thanks. fifty dollars or a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm at the markets. Uh, we mm -hmm. tend to get a lot of those more toward the holidays, yeah, so we'll start sure. to get those now when people mm -hmm. start to think about yeah. uh, donating Winter to a food pantry holidays, at the holidays, right. yes. So there's no so. significant changes to, to your operation for the holidays necessarily, but you might have more or different Demand. inventory to provide to people for yes. holiday meals for... Yes. You know. So in addition to our normal process mm -hmm. and the normal food that people get, mm -hmm. We provide a holiday dinner at Thanksgiving and at Christmas for every one of our clients. Okay. So last year we okay. did, well, everyone that would like one. Mm -hmm. Some people 
uh, go away to their relatives for Christmas or for Thanksgiving, so Mm -hmm. they do not need them. But last year, I believe our number of dinners that we provided was 130 dinners Mm -hmm. uh, for Thanksgiving and almost as much of, wow. uh, as that for Christmas. So that's Great. an additional that effort. Is, okay. That's, that's supported by people mm-hmm. who give, and organizations mm-hmm. that give 40 turkeys, yes. 50 mm-hmm. turkeys. No. Um, and we um, were supported last year and the year before by Situate Marketplace who, uh, for the people that are just one person mm-hmm. and can't do a great big turkey, right. uh, took the turkeys and cut them in half and, mm-hmm. and wrapped them uh, securely and nice. all of that for yeah. us so yeah. that they could choose a half of a right. turkey nice. and still have yeah, tur- a nice roasted turkey. turkey. Would be turkey. For one <laughs> yes, person. yes. And so some people would yeah. turn them down. Yeah. So we had that as an option mm-hmm. too, and we will again this year as mm-hmm. well. So we are just now, October 1, getting cranked into our holiday mm-hmm. mode, um, and uh, we shall see. That is wonderful, yeah, and I think yeah. maybe, I'm not sure if we, you got a chance to mention, just the the type of food that is available, not just maybe some of the traditional yes. um, well, thank you offerings, for, but I think nutritionally. Yeah. Yes. You, Prior to uh, this year, we were cans and dry goods. Uh, and then uh, with this operations mm-hmm. group, we decided to... Um, expand that program and to use the dollars mm-hmm. uh, that we had donated to the pantry in a more efficient and worthwhile manner. Mm-hmm. And so we decided to try to find sources of food, uh, and by food I mean fresh meat, frozen, right. vegetables, frozen vegetables, um, and that type of food, which was never provided before and to start to provide that service. Mm -hmm. And we have found that by doing that, we can purchase and provide this food for much less money Mm -hmm. uh, because of our buying power with Mm -hmm. different um, organizations, the food bank and so forth, um, at a much lower rate Mm -hmm. uh, than we can so that we can provide, we're not looking to save money, Mm -hmm. but we are looking to provide more food for the dollars Mm -hmm. that we have. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. So it's been a tremendous change. Mm Uh, it's now gone from March through September mm-hmm. uh, with no problem mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. of food supply. Right. We've been able to supply the food. The clients, uh, the nice thing about it is they're, uh, when they come in on Tuesday or Thursday, mm-hmm. they receive a menu mm-hmm. for the dry goods pantry portion of our mm-hmm. uh, program. They fill that out with everything that they would need or want for that, that is filled mm. separately, mm-hmm. and then they also fill out a sheet that's called a frozen specials okay. list, mm-hmm. and they request there what meats they can yes. use, what vegetables mm-hmm. they like, mm-hmm. things that are listed on that. That's a very fluid list from week to week, depending on what Supply, we have. Right, yeah. right, exactly. And each time we get different things. Some weeks we'll have mm-hmm. a lot of different cuts of chicken. Sometimes mm-hmm. we'll have mm-hmm. a lot of different cuts of pork. Some weeks beef less so on the beef because Mm -hmm. it costs the most of Mm -hmm. all of those types Mm -hmm. of meat. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, they always leave with bags Mm -hmm. full of protein. Well, fish. Very healthy. Fish, we we do. We have fish. We have filleted fish, which comes in a one to two pound package. And we have fish sticks, which um, are very popular. Mm -hmm. Oh, everybody I'm, loves fish sticks. Yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking, sit to a fishing community. Yes, yes, yes. So that is um, great, but yeah. and having the ability to freeze has certainly yes. Um, yes. allowed you to continue to keep foods available. Yes, so that's an interesting mm-hmm. story because we uh, were short on freezer space. Yeah, yeah. yeah. space and to freeze it. Yes, right. We were short on freezer space, uh, and one day about three months ago, we received a call at the pantry line, and it was uh, the um, one of our volunteers Mm -hmm. in town who said that she had just been up at Peniman Hill Farm Mm -hmm. and um, they were going out of business Mm -hmm. and they had a wonderful ice cream store in the back of their Mm -hmm. little farm Mm -hmm. stand Mm -hmm. and so she talked to them and said what are you going to do with your freezers she said we're open to that uh, and she said, well, I have an idea that the food pantry in Situate might really use these freezers. 
So when we got the phone call, it was, can you come and pick up two six-foot right. yes. freezers yeah. that are only a of year course. old, but they have wow. to be out of here soon. Out of here today. Right. So one of our volunteers called up a few more people with pickup trucks and everything else, and up they went. Yeah. And we now have six freezers wow. in place wow. uh, that we're able to use. Wow, so amazing. one of our freezers we got from a real estate agent mm -hmm. in Situate who these people left this freezer behind when they were I moving. I didn't want that, to move it. Happens. So mm -hmm. a quick phone call, and we went and picked it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. we're very fortunate yep. uh, in the uh, generosity of people. Nice yes. Um, so how... You... Well, I was going to mention maybe, or you might have something to add about that, but in terms of people getting there, I do know that the Gatra yes. public sloop, um, we'll it's not an off. official stop, but they will drop off and they will pick up there. So yes. for those individuals who may not be driving themselves, there really is the ability to get there, as well as if you were to call the senior center, of course, and talk with the transportation coordinator, that is yes. something that uh, our own vans and van drivers would, would definitely add to the schedule. Yes. But that's been nice. I yes, think. it has been nice. Um, and we just heard that uh, they're going to provide a bench, a yes. nice bench yes. out at the street, Good. so okay. that once the yeah. clients have all their bags of groceries, right. there's at least some place for them to sit <laughs> waiting right. for the bus Good. when they get out there. Yeah. So that's been tremendous. And, and they do use it. Good. People do use it. So yeah. I was going to ask... Um, how can someone, I'm quite sure you do this, but how can someone know what you might need? Like if someone says, well, I don't want to just buy a can of beans because they, they've, they've got tons of beans. So you guys have a specific list that you call, I'm guessing, pretty frequently to say, we're short on this, we're short on this. Yes. And so if someone wants to make a donation... They can, how do they find the that information list. out? So I would say the one of the best ways to do that is uh, online, on Facebook. Okay. And I would say most often Laurel will post what's needed okay. uh, on fo Facebook. Uh, in addition, the church bulletins. Every single week there's a list of, of uh, food supplies that we need. Okay. Uh, and that's updated uh, every couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll put a new list okay. in there. And those and are two of the best sources. what are they? They probably are pretty consistent, aren't they? What are they? They're not as consistent as you think. No? Uh, because our supply, mm -hmm. we're doing well with people are responding to uh, the needs list. Uh, for example, one time we can be very, very low on spaghetti sauce. Okay. Uh, we put that oh. out. And then you got. <laughs> and then we have 50 jars of spaghetti right, right, sauce right. on the shelf, which right. is wonderful. Okay. Uh, no one is complaining about that. Mm -hmm. uh, but sugar, uh, spam, um, corned beef hash, protein sources mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. really like, even mm -hmm. though they are canned on the shelf, because in times of, uh, mm. of not plenty, right. um, they're a very good source of, of healthy food for people. And people in this area like that. Protein uh, sources yes. and mm -hmm. some staples. Yes, sugar some salt. staples, right, that last mm -hmm. on the shelf. Sugar, most definitely. Mayonnaise, all your condiments, okay. mayonnaise, um, and things like that. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good to know. Yeah. Beans, all types of beans. Yeah. We're very, very, um, people you love can, all types they, of they beans. They have long expiration and they're And they're, and they're a great source of protein. Right. 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 Exactly. Right. Exactly. I also understand that you do some deliveries. Yes, we do. That in special instances for existing clients or how yes. might that It is be for raised? existing clients mm -hmm. um, and I'm glad that you raised this. The homebound mm -hmm. program uh, right now has about 20 people, oh, wow. uh, 20 homes that we deliver to. Uh, and they are existing clients mm -hmm. um, and the only thing that they have to do to get to be a client mm -hmm. is to make that phone call. Mm -hmm. After that, we have uh, the client uh, director who would uh, mm -hmm. determine, we either go out to the home if they can't come in okay. or whatever and fill out their, uh, their eligibility menu. form oh, for okay. them. Yes. Some of the clients choose to keep a menu in their house and just fill it out mm -hmm. via phone every yep. week. Yep. Uh, some send them in. Uh, some, some of our home delivery people just know what they yeah. want. Uh, twice a month, okay. and so they go out there. And we have the same all people. All volunteer delivery. Yes, all volunteer mm -hmm. delivery. We have the same two people that have been doing this for quite a while. Mm -hmm. The good thing about that is that they really know the clients. Sure. They know mm -hmm. the needs. Mm -hmm. um, and when we say needs, uh, it really, 
we don't deliver to people um, for transportation reasons mm -hmm. in general. Okay. Um, I'm not to say that we wouldn't do that if it was some emergency type. Sure. But what we do, we have people that are just homebound that for either physical reasons or mental um, sure. disabilities, mm -hmm. uh, or they're just so isolated, mm -hmm. they can't. We have families who are p persons mm -hmm. who um, socially mm -hmm. the stigma mm -hmm. of coming to a food pantry is just too much uh, for them. Uh, so we have a whole list of, mm -hmm. of um, reasons yep. that we provide the home delivery yep. and it's very That's very important nice. yeah and the person who takes care of that would be your client service yes yes she doesn't not do the delivery we have two volunteers sure. who they have a special interest in these people they know them from years and um, mm -hmm. That's how it's done. And this might be a nice segue because I wonder if you ha still have a need for volunteers always or um, how we certainly have a need for volunteers mm -hmm. uh, we we would love to see you we'd love people to come down any Tuesday or Thursday if you just want a tour mm -hmm. if you just want to see what it's like if you just want to see what the work is sure. Sure. Um, and mm -hmm. usually people are hooked yeah. we have had many volunteers each church provides a representative to mm -hmm. the food pantry mm -hmm. once a month. Mm -hmm. And so we've had so many of those people come and actually see what really? it is okay. and then come back every Tuesday. Okay. So um, we uh, are also thinking, uh, and it's in the early stages, but I can see it happening pretty quickly, of establishing a night crew, mm -hmm. which we have never had before. Mm -hmm for working people. Sure. Most of our right. volunteers right now are retired, right. but if we had a night crew where people could come and from seven, volunteer, from seven to right, exactly, or right. Something like so we that. could process yeah. a lot right. of food Anybody in that area. Anybody who's situate to go to work can't get back to situate by right. five o'clock. Right, right. And that is exactly uh, the suggestion, and we're moving toward that right away, looking for volunteers. So you may see that mm -hmm. online mm -hmm. in the next week or two. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. So you can donate at churches and physical locations. You can make a donation monetarily, online, with a check. Yeah, exactly. You can volunteer. Mm -hmm. You can walk in with your gift cards, right. especially at the holidays. Uh, you can donate turkeys. Mm -hmm. um, we have people now that are bringing in um, cases of corn, mm -hmm. the, yeah. the, the items that are cases of instant potatoes, mm -hmm. uh, stuffing that came, that they know are yes. components of mm -hmm. our holiday dinner. Mm -hmm. So that's something that people can also think of. So, yes. We have families in situate that need your help, so please consider Great. reaching out. So happy that you were able to be here. I think this was a really yeah. tremendous um, opportunity to pass the information on. And if not for those watching, please pass it on to someone that you think may be able to benefit right. from this. Cause we really want the community to know. What We're trying to get the word out. Right. Yeah, yep. right. trying to get the word out. And uh, yeah. thank you for yeah, having us. Welcome. We Good. appreciate thank it you. very thank much. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Welcome. Anything you want to add in closing? Any last minute? Well, I will maybe just take dates one minute. on the calendar that you have on your docket? Dates on the calendar. I'm well, just of throwing course it out there at you. There are dates on the calendar. Um, but off the um, October, we still have our newsletter, which runs for two months. So we do have some, um, certainly, activities and events in October that if you could refer to the newsletter, um, that would be great. But we did just have our walk last I weekend. I thought you had it memorized. I, thought, like, I did, too, oh. but until you just okay. said that. Okay. Um, like our phone number. Right. <laughs> like our phone number. Um, but anyway, Sorry. I do want to offer my thanks um, to the community, to the participants who did uh, come to the walk and walk with us. Um, I'd love to thank the organizations that helped to support the walk for us for the first time, but we had uh, Representative um, Ed Katursky from Etrusco. We had Jen Foley from the Conservation Commission with some new trail maps. We had some sponsorship from Bay State Physical Therapy, Peak Physical Therapy, Bay State Athletics. We want to thank them. I want to thank, we had representatives from AARP and no less the Executive Director um, helping to confer the official certification for our new age-friendly initiative uh, to myself and Mark Curran, who nicely enough was there, and I want to thank her for participating as well. Um, Joan Moschino, uh, who took part in the walk with us and um, is one of our 
or our Perhaps. current yeah. state representative, and Carolina. as well Patrick Kearney, who is a candidate for the second seat, recently vacated by Jim Cantwell, and um, best of luck to him in his um, bid for that other seat, which we look forward to. Um, but in general, you know, it was a great first effort, and we hope to do it again, so it, it was a lot of fun. Um, thank you also for just tuning in and, and helping us to just get more information out to the community about what we do, about what other organizations do. We're very happy to have had Marie Murray with us from the Food Pantry. And please, um, you know, take that information and... Uh, or call them or email them okay. or... Right. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. See you soon.